do the mini set one and then rest five seconds mini set two and then i'm gonna go for a pr on on on, on the third or fourth okay so that's how i progress now on my isolation work yes it's hard yes it's not for for beginners but but i've been training for a long time and, and i can tolerate those um, kinds of pain you know the, that last bit of rep you know of, of, of you know the grind of that last few reps okay they, they always say you don't grow on the on the six seven eight reps it's on the last few if the rep range is 12 reps it's on that 11 12 and going past that 12 reps and it's true okay it's 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 just it all boils down to smartly training harder than last time how can you you train harder than last time without hurting yourself okay that's the definition for me of training smart how can you maximize your training sessions in a short period of time without hurting yourself but you're still worked harder than last time okay and this is one way i'm gonna do clusters i'm gonna do rest pause i'm gonna do dog crap training for the rest of my life because this saves time and it makes lightweights hard okay it makes lightweights effective and it makes lightweights challenging and progressive okay it's up to you if it's it's gonna be progressive for example for me on the last set I go for a PR meaning if I do like three reps on that mini set or on that third or fourth mini set I am going to I am going to do my best to get four reps clean or if I'm gonna I'm gonna do a cheat rep for now I'm gonna do it okay that's one way of doing that because we don't have like a small smaller plate that can do that can add like two pounds on on the on the bar so i'm gonna go for reps yeah, increasing the reps so if i get like my goal i'm gonna increase like 2.5 2.5 each side of the curl simple 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 guys